All right. In theory, in theory, hold on, stick my head out here. Uh, in theory, we're recording. I think everything's okay. Actually, I'm going to lower my voice down a little bit. How about now? How's that look? That might still be a little bit high, but we're going to go with it for now. So, <clears throat> as you can see, we are in VR at the moment. I need to get a little bit more in the center here. I don't have a huge space play, so we'll see how that works. Um, and we're on our little Steam VR at the moment. And we're going to attempt to play, or attempt to record, I can figure out a button I'm using which, Vampire the Masquerade Justice. This just came out a couple days ago. We did do a members only video on it the night it came out. I had to figure out how to record VR um, from the actual uh, VR headset rather than recording what plays on the screen because I wasn't 100% sure that these VR games would all show up on the stream, on the actual uh, computer screen. So uh, we more or less got it to work. Uh, I did have an issue with audio capture, but hopefully we're going to check that when the game fires up. We're going to see. I'm going to lower my volume down just a little bit more. Okay, I think we've got audio. Hopefully we do. All right, so this is Vampire the Masquerade Justice, and as you can see, it is a very pretty game. Uh, I like the look of it a lot. I love I love the 3D. I'll be honest with you. The world for me is not as 3D as 3D things. I have a, my left eye doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot. I mean, it works just fine. Just my brain kind of ignores it. Um, so I don't get real good depth perception normally in the world, but 3D goggles kind of force my brain to look at it a little bit more. I still, the right is still very dominant, but games are, the world is much more 3D, weirdly enough. Um, we are going to go to saved games, I think. We're going to start a new one. We're going to start a new game. I'm 4.5% through the other one, huh? I'm going to go arms to voice to Europe. I haven't visited in 30 years. Okay. I haven't figured out which are supposed to be the male and female arms, if I'm honest. I keep forgetting which one looked like which, but we're, I am standing, and I assume they're asking if I'm seated or if I'm standing, not if the character is. So I'm gonna go there, and I have a quest three. So we'll go ahead and we'll start the game. Whoops, I'm gonna hold it down. Got my lightsaber here. And we're gonna give it a go. I know it is customary for an elder to give fledglings an introduction into the world of the kindred. Unfortunately, you'll have to make do with me. You know me already. I'm Justice. It's not my real name, but I'm not sure that's important to anyone anymore. It certainly isn't for me. Mahmoud, my sire, gave me the nickname. At first just to mock me, then to keep me on the path, as he used to say. Eventually, I embraced it. It's what drives me, and it's only natural that I identify with it completely. I, like you, am a child of Hakim. Our services were called for at times by the New York Kindred Lords, but mostly we followed our own agenda. We killed for the greater good, and we kept to ourselves among the ancient texts and relics he had found over the centuries. And then he was killed, and one of his most prized relics was stolen. I inquired among the Camarilla, but no one offered any help. Too busy playing their own power games. Oh, it just moved on me when I tried to grab it. There's a desk there. Hold on, hold on. There we go. That's when he contacted me said someone in the Hikata was behind it, that if I wanted justice, huh, I should go to Venice. Your local leaders, they're afraid to stir the pot. Maybe you don't have to turn. To you can use uh, the right thumbstick to uh, kind of click you back 45 degrees. Why commit to 
something today that might bite you in the ass tomorrow. Venice, Italy. There was a Nosferatu waiting for me there. The low ground. Someone that could help me. But Kaiser said he did have an agenda of his own. All right, we were supposed to find the entrance to the sewer tunnels. Now, I've been through this uh, a couple times now. No love between me and my I'm still sire. not great at it. Every sunrise, I cursed him for the life he gave me. But he was right about one thing. The guilty must be punished. I knew that someone had to pay. And the Nosferatu named Pietro would lead me toward them. Maybe you can find a way to help each other. Oh, and if you make it back, do remember who gave you the tip. Now that I've scratched your back... Hey, I caught one. Mine. I just bounced that one off the... Uh... I was trying to throw one at the rat, but... uh. Oh, I came close. I got him. I wasn't 100% sure if you could actually do that. I tried before, and my, my throwing was not good enough. All right, we got some options. Uh, you know what? I've never gone up the stairs before. Okay. I'm going to try not to get myself all twisted as we do this. So I'm going to click a little bit here. Right to crouch. Oh, I'm going to click us. One more, there we go. All right, we can bring up our, our uh, pause menu. There it is. I just arrived in Venice. It was an hour or so past midnight. Kaiser told me I would find the Venetian contact in a spectacular old building accessed via the sewers. Your typical Nosferatu rat then. All right. B is going to be what blinks us across there. It's our kind of our little fast, not fast travel, our uh, our kind of little vampire ability, right? And we can sprint. I'm going to, uh, there we go. It's not really a very sprinty sprint. We're supposed to climb up there, but you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to come over here because I haven't been down here. I don't know if there's anything down here or not. doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's kick back over this way. All right, and this is just, um, we just use our hands. So I reach up. And then we grab and we grab. I'm right on the edge of my viewpoint here. I'm going to, hold on. I've lost it. There we go. I was too close to it, and we're right on the edge. So when you get close to the edge of your view space, it gives you like a little grid. And I don't have a lot of room where we're playing here. I need to find a better spot to do this. I think I'm actually going to do this on my laptop. Come on. There we go. Um, so I can set up in another room. Now, the, you do have some weird flaky stuff, obviously, with your arms. You kind of have to play with your arms, because it just draws your arms straight down. Now, my arms aren't straight down. My arms are, you know, my, my arms are bent, you know, out here somewhere, right? But, uh, so they end up going through your face, whereas in reality, they would go around your head. So you do have some weird flaky stuff like that with your arms sometimes. And now that we're here, we'll let go. Hold on, I'm gonna. Ah! 
There's the bar sign down there. Hotel. There's where we came from. I'm going to flip the camera around so I don't, I, I don't wrap the... Uh... Oh, I don't want to step off either. Okay. Yeah, I need I need some more room. I'm also got the cable uh, up over my curtain rod, so it's not around my feet causing me problems. Finger guns. All right, I used to love it here, even with all the tourists doing their best to ruin everything, but I'm almost happy they're evacuating us. I can't stand another day of the rain. When will it stop? Whoops, I think the problem is, uh, so we're gonna grab. Do I, I... My uh, long grab is not working. Will it work with this arm? Am I too far away? No. Now I can come close and just grab it, right? But why is my... There we go. Why am I, why am I not able to, to do the grab and flick? Hmm. Wow, you know what? Unhappy with that grab and flick, darn it. Unhappy. All right, well. I've been through this room, so we won't waste our time on it. We'll grab the handle. Won't let me open that book to actually read it. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's see if there's anything... On the bookshelf, I don't see anything. Okay. Your heightened senses can sense uh, things. So hold left trigger and aim with your hand. Ah, there we go. See where we're seeing. And there it is. There's a little rat down there and there's a key. No, I'm not trying to grab the couch. Come on now. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get down there and try to grab it without running into anything in the room. Okay. Now we add it to our inventory just by dropping it in our little bag of holding there. I like that actually a lot. I'm going to kick the camera around here. Hey, I caught it. Shorty's upset about something. And now we can, now, so now we grab it out of our inventory. We put it in the lock. We have to twist it. Can we? The rain had been pouring He's gonna try to grab him. <laughs> just let up. The whole city was breathing a collective sigh of relief. It was cold and humid. But I felt something else in the air, too. Something unnatural. Like the city itself was trying to keep me away. Just looking to see if there's anything hidden over here. So we can use our little teleport to get down there. If we so choose. I'm wondering... I'm going to kind of walk us along here for a second, just to make sure there's nothing. So what we could do, now we could teleport down, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to here. And then we're going to put our elbow in our face. Interestingly, where our elbow's been the wrong way. There we go. And we'll practice our... Uh, our wall crawling to get down here.
All right. Got a little save action going on. Move the camera over so I don't have to spin around there. Tourists go home. There are hidden things in here, so that's kind of why I'm looking, right? The faster we go, the more we kind of we lose our peripheral vision. Oh, we've got a kitty cat down there. All right, so we can blink and attack this guy. Did you hear what happened to the other guys over at Campo San Luca? They were lucky they got out alive. You have to get it just right. What'd you say? No, I'm fine. There it is. Yeah, we got him. Now that raids are... So now we can grab this rat. Maybe. Come on, rat. Oh, I just about tripped over the cat. Well, I tried to pick up the rat. Hey, buddy. How you doing? And we decrease our hunger a little bit. The cat's not very happy with that can't say to blame her. I have no idea where she is because I only got like just under the nose thing. She's hiding in here somewhere. She'll come out when I trip over her. Oh, is there another one? All right. Oh, there's a wall over here. I can't quite reach it. He keeps going out of my, my area. There we go. Lower our health a little bit more, or lower our hunger a little bit more, and off we go. I think we're okay now. You could have avoided this if you just stayed where you were supposed to. Last time I did this, the gun was just floating. <laughs> Every time I play it, there's something that pops up that wasn't there last time. We just saw him walk down there. It's a bum down here. Looks dead. Looks dead. All right, we can grab people. Any action at your location? If you can get out of it in time, right between that, you get apparently some bonus. I assume because you leave them with just enough blood that they don't die. Now, one thing I am upset about, I can't grab the gun. So, a little bit annoying there. All right, next, we need to go up there. We've got some options. Uh, the easiest just to open this door. Little courtyard here. Now we'll go up this way. Yeah, definitely need some more room to play this. That's for sure. Maybe I can build something in the garage where, you know, I can build a hanger for the, uh, for the cord. Now we could potentially... Where the heck am I? Oh, there's a, there's a cable over here somewhere, right? Oh, I went too far. Hold on. Um, where I can build the cable over my head. There we go. Now we can go this way. And again, now the cord's going through us. Anyway, where I could build the cable, I could build something to hold the cable over my head. I guess we could look at doing it wirelessly too, just so it's not an issue.
but I get so much better data rate with the cable on than with it off. Nothing. Get in there. Okay, fine. Stay on top. Oh, there's... I was gonna see if I could open other drawers and stuff, but... Hmm. spin around here and use the camera controls to spin us. That door doesn't have a handle. I had a little food thing pop up, but I don't think I'm hungry at this point. I ate plenty. Okay. And again, I think I'm supposed to... climb down over here? Interesting that we don't have legs, right? We look, we're just a pair of arms floating in the air. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're looking around because the cable's all wrapped around me. What is, uh, this? Oh, it's just a bottle. Okay. Alright, what does this one say? Now we can go into the shadows. So X opens our wheel of shadows. All right, we only have the one ability, though. So, now we're gonna hold A. And we're gonna sneak past this dude. What did you say? And now, hold on, I gotta back up so I get him. Uh, nah, can I grab him? Nothing, but... I was trying to sneak up on him, but it wouldn't let me grab him. Sometimes it's not great. It may just be because they want you to just sneak past him and leave him. I don't know. But sometimes it just doesn't want to let you do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're a little bit hungry. Another one. Oh, that was awesome. Then we threw his body in. Yes, we filled up, we hit the bonus, and then we chucked him over the, over the edge. I should not get so much pleasure in this. I know there's probably something clearly wrong with me. This is, by the way, the only game I have ever LARPed. We used to LARP um, uh, at a game store in Augusta, Georgia. They had about 100, if not more, people that would LARP Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, you always have an advantage from elevated position. If you're below them, you can blink to the yellow flags placed around the larger stealth encounters. Oh, that's not what I want. I want that. Now, like I say, there are... Ultimately, we're going to want to go down there where we can unlock a gate, turn off some powers, right? You can see there's some options in there for that. But I want to go ahead and figure out some of these locations here, because we do have... Oh! 
It's not what I wanted. Uh, nope. Can I get all the way to that one? I can't. Anyway, there are hidden items throughout here, right? So that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now we can see around though. We know we need to go under that little tunnel just to the side of those guys. Anyway, mostly I'm just looking for the hidden items here. Can I not get to there yet? Yeah. Keep my eyes open. Okay. I didn't see anything there. Hmm. I don't know. Apparently that one doesn't go there. I'm guessing. Oh, okay, so we could have gone to turn off the power and gone that way, but it looks like I found another route. I'm going over the rooftops here. Huh. I wonder if I could have thrown a rock at him. I'm trying to get to a point where I can... Yeah, there we go. All right, we are hungry now. Well, I wanted to eat him, but once again, it wouldn't let me grab him. Now we're really hungry. You know what? Heck with him. Not gonna worry about him. He's done. Oh, I'm spun around though. Hold on. Let me get out of my cable here. Like a dog with a leash here. Okay, but I still can't open this door, right? No. Okay, so we do still need to kill that power. And there, that's where it is. Okay. So let's go ahead. Whoops. I hit the, the, the right thumb button there. All right, we're almost full. Spin the camera around one more time here so I don't have to, uh, again, wrap around the cable and we can see if we were to use our little ability there. Oh. I think it's just a rat down there, okay. Uh, how do we get in up there? I 
I think. We can kick in through here. Then we can grab this little guy. And then we'll just go down here. Kill the power. All right, and we're back up. Oops, which direction am I facing? Hold on, let me spin the camera around. Yeah, we definitely need to find a better way to do this. Set up if we're gonna, whoops, if we're gonna do a lot of this. Well, I certainly wasn't subtle about it, was I? And now the door's open. There was something in the air. Something uncanny. The opposition I faced was far stronger than it should be. Mere mortals shouldn't have put me in actual danger. I would do well not to underestimate my new enemy. Oh, I just gotta hold it. Hold on. All right, that's the first zone complete. Oh, spin around here. We did not find any collectibles. There was one out there somewhere. Like I said, I haven't found it yet. Somewhere out there, there's a, there's a collectible. One day we'll find it. All right, they're out there somewhere. Oh, we gotta go this way, that's right. Oh, hold on, let me back up here a little bit so I have room to reach out. Sometimes how your arms interact with stuff is a little bit weird. Oh, actually, hold on, we want to just pick up this brick. Hey, I caught it. And then not punch the window that is on the back side that you guys can't see. It would happen to be right where I was facing. <laughs> okay. Wolf start is playing Star Wars. Jedi Survivor. Sorry, I'm sorry, Wolf's Heart. I hated that game. It was so bad. Now, I guess we could grab a hammer, huh? You're not getting closer to it? Just in case we need it. Come on. Open the... Fine, we'll grab it. And then we'll open it. Then we can push it, see? It just kind of flakes out sometimes. Oh, I lost my hammer. I'm going to go this way. Hold on. Let me spin the camera. There we go. Another quick spin. And a save. All right. And I think... Oh. Can we do something down there? Hold on. Let me see if there's something down there. There is. Hello, Mr. Rats.
Luca, there are tunnels under Venice. Tunnels! We can use them to sneak around the patrols. Wish I could see their stupid faces under their stupid masks. Okay. We're gonna crawl back out of here. Stand back up. Now, you know what? We'll just go ahead and take the stairs here. Since I know they're here. Oops. I spun the camera a little bit too far and confused myself. Where the heck am I? There we go. All right, those are all locked, but... Hey, you can use your heightened senses to sense things through the wall. Well, I'm pushing trigger, but it's not doing anything. <clears throat> there's some height. There's some uh, people. Okay, we saw them there. So before we go around the corner, we can see that there's somebody there. Nope, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Up we go. I think we're there. All right, grab your body, lean it. Yep, it's just giving us the same stuff. We're just walking us through it. I'd rather have my hammer back. Actually, no. We'd rather do it this way because this is the this is the most fun. Yeah, that is by far the most fun. Let's check, see if there's anything else. We got some triggers up there. All right. Ah, uh, something over here. There's a skull there. And there's our key. And we'll go ahead and put it in our inventory. Kick back over here. Pull ourselves up. Grab the door. Hey, all right. We're doing we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Now, I believe I could have, I think I did find an actual hidden thing last time there. Um, all right, we got some options up there. I'm the one you're looking for, child of Akim. Welcome to my humble haven. I have been waiting for you. I am Pietro. Your contact must have mentioned me. I think you and I can strike up an official agreement. All right, hold on, let me get the camera where I can see him here. All right, so we have a choice. We can be nice or we can be aggressive. We'll be nice. Your name was mentioned. It took me a while to get here, but I'd like to learn how you can help me. I have good information for you, which I'll happily share if you help me with a certain task. Quit pro quo. Just tell me what you know about the attack on Mahmoud. We'll start there. Things have been stirring here these last couple of months. There's unrest in the Hercata ranks. A conflict brewing between the local lords. And I suspect you and your sire ended up in the crossfire. The corpse fuckers are searching far and wide for relics of a certain origin. I guess your sire didn't want to give their up. Luckily, your search to find the killer crosses paths with my own investigation. I've collected my thoughts for you on the table. In Venice, the Hecata have their fingers in everything. The mortals might not know it, but they are everywhere. They might delude themselves and call this a city of love, but those of us who live in the shadows know better. Add it to my collection, there we go. 
As with any organization that grows too big, it eventually becomes unwieldy. The same goes for the Hekata. I think our best bet is to find a way in via Elena Giovanni. She is... not all there, shall we say. In my dealings with a local underclass of kindred help, I have often interacted with a man named Lorenzo. He will be easy to lean on for information, and the rumor has it. He is in possession of something really juicy regarding our friend Elena. I would start by finding him. Suggest it's in his best interest to let us partake of that information. He usually hangs out at Campo San Antonio. Hmm. Well, there's us, Justice. Mahmoud is out. I can feel the beast inside of me, yearning to take control. I'm not sure I have the energy to fight anymore. I don't have anything left. It took everything from me. Unlocks the undertaking. The setup. Interesting. Welcome to Venice. So this would be it. So I'm going to go ahead real quick. I'm going to hit this. I'm going to hopefully go to save a game. Assuming I'm going to figure out where that is. Do we have a... Uh... Nope. Uh, return. Ah, so you can just go to each one. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we go to here. Will that save it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. If I'm going to replay it, I'm going to find all the collectibles, darn it. So... That, my friends, was Vampire the Masquerade Justice, or at least the beginning of it. A uh, VR-only game. Uh, I got it through Steam, uh, and I like it. I, 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 I love the fact that I can sneak up and drain people and then toss them over the bridge and into the water. <laughs> I said, I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with me. But it is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.